What is going on everybody? Logan here for a new video and I'm over here with Ken. I'm doing a video on his 2016 GT350. He just picked this thing up and if Ken looks familiar it's because he has supplied me with a few videos. He's had the M5, he's had that Toyota Tundra, uh, the Ford Raptor. He's been in a lot of my videos. He actually got a wide body. I didn't give a chance to do a, re a review on that but he traded in for this and uh, how would you say your experience is from the Challenger to this? Night and day. This is a, this is my dream car. My first car coming out of college was a uh, 5.0 GT convertible back in 1993. And I've had my eye on the uh, GT350 for a while. And uh, when I found this uh, out in Bryan College Station, I couldn't pass it up. It just, it stuck out, uh, beautiful car. Uh, the paint, uh, everything about the car was just flawless. Uh, I bought it with like 5,500 miles and obviously it was well taken care of. And so we're gonna do a few things to it, uh, but Logan will tell you more about that. And there is a lot planned to it. I'd say towards the end of July, this car, it's gonna be crazy, let's just say that. But he's already got it ceramic coated. Uh, he has the clear film on the front of the car uh, and also all the way up to right here, just to prevent any kind of uh, chips or anything. Uh, but I mean, this car is only has 5,500 miles. It's practically brand new. I mean, it is a beautiful car. The stripes as well. Uh, he got the blue put on the outside for, you know, red, white, and blue. Uh, just make it, you know, stand out a little bit more. I mean, not just be every other Mustang out there, but this car is just immaculate. While we're driving over there, driving over here, uh, I mean, he did a few pulls and it's just, I mean, I have my Mustang. I mean, it's a full bolt on Mustang. And you know, so it's a roughly 100 horsepower difference. This comes with 525. Uh, the torque's about flat 430. So plenty of power and you can feel it. Now just from the outside, you can see this car is aggressive. That front bumper and splitter look amazing. Uh, has the big old pizza pan rotors in there. They're drilled, uh, huge Brembo brakes. It also has the functional heat extractor for the brakes right there next to the GT350. Love that styling. Uh, also the rocker panels down here, they are a little bit textured. That's a little bit different from the normal Mustang GT. Uh, looks, just adds to the looks. Uh, you come around back. You have, of course, the GT350 and Snake Emblem, iconic, and you know, quad exhaust and the rear diffuser as well. Now, as far as the exhaust, this exhaust is stock, but it does have the active exhaust. Uh, let's hear what it sounds like. Not bad at all. I mean, I had no complaints. Let's do it with active exhaust. That's a night and day difference, and that is stock. And looking under the hood, 5.2 flat plane crank voodoo. It looks surprisingly similar to a Coyote. Over here on the side of the engine, you can actually see who built the car? It says Ford, built with pride, GT350. Uh, I believe it says Frank Pona, or Pomona, uh, and Ann Lenny. Lemmy, I'm not sure. But I, I think it's a cool little touch. You see who is actually working on your car. Uh, but under the engine, not too much different from an old Mustang GT, besides knowing the fact that it's a flat plane crank. And it also comes with a strut tower brace, says Ford Performance, Dearborn, Michigan developed and engineered by Ford Performance. Now let's look at the opposite end, the trunk. And it's same as in the normal Mustang. Uh, I mean, I can see the P90 here, but it's nothing really special to it. Just, uh, I mean, you can still have plenty of room to go get what you need. And before I go inside, how many people didn't know that you have a trunk release right down here? I've talked to a few people, uh, just, you know, it, friends or whatnot and they didn't know that it has a trunk release down there they've always either used the button on the inside or the button on their key fob if you didn't know let me do it down in the comments now as far as the interior not a bad looking interior at all now the s550 already has a cool looking interior uh, but with the gt350 it's just that one step higher alcantara over here uh, alcantara in the middle of the seats even the steering wheel is alcantara wrapped so comfortable ride this really doesn't even feel like a ford i mean you look at this and it just really reminds me of the bmw m5 that he had and uh, it's just a really comfortable ride now the back seat obviously still really small but 
as far as the rest of the car, I mean, on the inside, it looks awesome. But let's go ahead and fire this puppy up. Nice growl. On the screen right here, lights up GT350 with a snake. I love that right there. Uh, the seats immediately start cooling. These have heated and cooled seats. That is probably one of my favorite things about this car. We're here in Texas and yeah, it gets hot. Now, as far as the dash, it redlines at 9,000. Uh, now this cars can rev all the way up to 8,250, which is crazy. Uh, that's just crazy high to be able to rev to. Uh, as far as the miles an hour, it goes up to 200. And then, I mean, there are a bunch of just, I mean, the normal apps you can go through up here. You can say AM, FM, okay. USB, navigation. Okay, Siri. So you can see your MPGs, uh, fuel history, fuel economy, different trips. You can change the gauge. Uh, you can see all kind of important information, cylinder head temp, engine oil temp, inlet, uh, voltage, uh, miles to empty, digital speedometer, and then even, you know, tires. I mean, it's the basic tracks or the basic um, things you can see. Uh, you have the track apps, which I have not been through this yet. You have line lock, which is very cool. Uh, launch control, you can change the exhaust mode through that. Or you can use this little flip right here to turn the active exhaust on and off. That's actually pretty cool. It has a shift indicator, uh, an accelerometer, acceleration timer, uh, lap timer, brake performance. Uh, you can clear your results. Let's see if there's any other stuff in here. Let's see what the driver assist is. Engine auto off, hill start assist. So, uh, I mean, it helps you to start on a hill because it's a manual. Let's see the different settings. Uh, my key, vehicle, let's see what this says. Uh, you can change the lighting, locks, all that kind of stuff. And then right here on the steering wheel, I have a bunch of different options, such as you know cruise control, uh, how to control the menu right here, uh, volume, uh, skip tracks, but also what I'm more interested in is the steering mode and the suspension mode. Uh, you can change that right there. Uh, on the steering wheel, you have sport, comfort, normal. Let's just leave that in sport for later. And then damper mode, you have normal and sport. Also, let's leave in sport for later. Then you also have a few more gauges over here just showing the oil temp and oil pressure PSI. Uh, and then as a last little difference, you have the GT350 badge with the chassis G3944. And one more thing, the steering wheel has the normal little strip of leather right here. Uh, and the Raptor, it is red, but all four performance vehicles has that little strip right there on the steering wheel. Now this head unit right here is very cool. You can control a lot of different things. It has satellite radio, which is very useful. Uh, you can change the climate in here, uh, the make phone calls and stuff without having to go through your phone. Uh, you have your navigation, which is gonna be slow to load. Uh, you also have different apps, which this one just has the travel link and the Cisco WebEx, but then you also can go to the settings. Uh, I mean, just change general settings. Uh, even this right here, Wi-Fi, you can emit a Wi-Fi signal from the car, which I think is something that's really cool that a lot of these newer cars are starting to have. You also can change the display uh, to auto dim, uh, brightness, you can change all that. Finally, you have the valet mode right here, just so you know that your car isn't gonna get the uh, Ferris Bueller treatment. Now for the drive, I'm excited. This is the first Shelby I've driven. I've never driven a GT500, GT350 or anything. I have driven Dodge, uh, Dodge Demon, but let's see how this is. Let's see what all the hype is about. Now I've heard that this is probably the best driver's car. I mean, this car was built to be at the track. I mean, it's uh, it, everything around it from the suspension, uh, the different modes and everything, I mean, with the track mode and all, I mean, it's a track car. The steering wheel is awesome. You really grip it, but it's still comfortable as well. difference from my normal Mustang. That felt awesome. That was very fluid. Pushes right back in the seat. I, I like this. Third gear. Still a little bit of power. You really don't feel until about 3,000. I mean, it was, that feels similar-ish to my car, but yeah, you felt just even more accelerating. Now, as far as the overall driving, I mean, this is a feels very very comfortable uh, the steering wheel is very tight uh, the suspension has the magnetic ride so as we're going over all these bumps and everything it you don't you really don't feel the bumps I mean obviously you know you went over them but you don't feel them too well you know he would smoke you right <laughs> yeah looks like you got attention of a ZL1 right here show the ZL1 oh he turned <laughs> Transmission. 
leaps and bounds better than the MT82. I love this car. This is a very comfortable car to drive. I mean, obviously it has all the power you need, but I mean, the transmission, it's very knobby over here, going exactly what gear you want. Um, it's, it's a very comfortable ride. Okay, so this is going to be her reaction to feeling what the GT350's acceleration feels like. Oh my god! Oh my god! It feels like a roller coaster. Yeah. That's insane. Well, we just got back from driving the GT350. This car is an animal. It's a fun drive. It's a comfortable drive. It almost feels like a luxury car. I mean, almost like a BMW. I mean, it's a very pretty car. It's aggressive. It's just all around a very, very cool car. It does have the Tremec transmission, so you don't have to worry about any kind of issues that a lot of other Mustang GTs have had in the past with the cheap Chinese-made transmission. So, stout transmission, stout, stout engine. Now, like I said earlier on in the video, Ken has a lot of plans for this car. Uh, just stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more videos on it, but Ken wants to say a few things before the video is done. First thing I want to thank Bubba Blue here for doing a phenomenal job of reviewing the uh, Shelby GT350. We appreciate uh, all this help in getting the information out about my different toys. Uh, I do want to give a few shouts out uh, for a couple people who have helped at least with the development and some of the improvements with the car. I want to thank uh, Rodney and Leslie over at Rocket Wraps for the beautiful job they did with the paint protection film, the Expel coating that's on the car. I want to thank Jeff Akrong over at Exclusive Auto Service for the beautiful job with the paint correction. I mean, the paint looks flawless as well as the ceramic coating that he did. And then also, I uh, want to thank Gerald Johnson over at Mr. Tint for doing the ceramic uh, tint on the car. Just a phenomenal job. Uh, so st stay tuned. Uh, we've got a lot more planned for the car, more stuff to, to change and to modify and to kind of make it our own. Obviously, you see the, the red, white, and blue stripes. And if you know anything about me and you know anything about Logan, we're huge supporters of the Second Amendment and of uh, our country. We're patriots. Uh, that's part of the, the identity of this car and part of my identity. Uh, we believe and we support our law enforcement officers with everything that's going on in the world. I want everybody to know how much we appreciate and we love our law enforcement officers. We're looking forward to doing a few slight body modifications as well as uh, some work that uh, Pax Power will be doing here shortly uh, with the engine. So stay tuned. Uh, God bless you guys and uh, God bless the United States of America. Keep America great. But guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and please subscribe. And as always, have, have a great, great day. day.